So God told King David at one point, you will not build my temple because you've been a king of war and I will not have my temple built by a king of war. But however, your son will be a king of peace and I will let your son build my temple. And then through the course of time, Solomon, David's son, becomes king over Israel. He learns about this promise and he takes that to mean himself. And I don't have a problem with that. So Solomon then builds the temple for God. However, and this is the cool part, scripture always has multiple fulfillments to prophecy. I'm not saying it was wrong for Solomon to build the temple. I think it, it was probably just fine. Ultimately, Solomon wasn't a perfect king either. His heart oftentimes was turned away from God. He chased after idols and pleasures and all kinds of things. But there is a son of David, a son of man, a son of God, who is the king of peace, and that's Jesus. Jesus would build God's kingdom and his temple. We are the temple of God and Jesus builds us. He builds his church. We are his body. We are a holy nation, a kingdom of priests. That's how we're to read the Bible. Ultimately, when God promises something, there might be an immediate fulfillment to that. But ultimately, all of God's promises are fulfilled in Jesus. So when you read the Bible, think about Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.